Sergei Prokopiev, the Soyuz commander in the center seat of the descent module of the Soyuz spacecraft. To his left and on the right of this picture is cosmonaut Dmitry Patelin, and on the left, NASA's Frank Rubio, who is the all-time record holder for a, the single longest space flight by an American astronaut. And there's our first view of the uh, Soyuz MS-23 under the chutes. Six minutes until touchdown. Object getting close to touchdown. Object touchdown. Touchdown confirmed at 6.17 a.m. Central Time. Rubio's record ride comes to an end as he, Prokopiev, and Patelin return to Earth after a 371-day, 157-million-mile journey at the International Space Station. In work. The third longest flight ever in human spaceflight history is over with a pinpoint landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan. And uh, this video now, uh, courtesy of Roscosmos, showing Soyuz Commander Sergei Prokopiev having uh, been uh, helped out of the uh, Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft. Sergei Prokopiev, uh, who was strapped into the center seat of the descent module of the Soyuz spacecraft, always the first out. He'll be followed by his two crewmates here shortly. Thank you. Easy, easy. Check the arm. Check the cables. Careful. Easy. Frank Rubio, the U.S. record holder for the longest single space flight in history, back on Earth. Here you are. <laughs> Don't fall. So great. <laughs> Little higher, move him a bit higher. That uh, touchdown, 28 minutes ago at 6:17 a.m. Central Time.